Welcome back to the Nightcap, y'all. I'm hurting, okay? That was not an easy workout, but obviously you heard Coach Cinnamon talking about nutrition, so I had to bring the expert up in here, Dr. Brooke Goldner. Thanks for coming back, boo. My pleasure. And you know all about the nutrition, and I have to tell you, since your last time you're on the show, you introduced me to the daily drinker, that green smoothie. Mm -hmm. I have one every day. I'm so proud of you. Girl, I have one that every is so day. Good. Oh, the whole thing? No, not the whole thing. <laughs> me, and, me and the family split. Split one of these. Still, okay. still, that's good. Right. It's good. Oh, I got my yes. family on it. I got friends on it. I mean, you know, we we trying to get a little bit better, but you can actually make us even better for the new new year, new us, right? Yes, yes. So a lot of people, when the New Year's come, big goal, lose weight. Right. Right. And normally when you're talking about losing weight, people start thinking about what they have to give up, mm. right? Well, what I like to tell people is it's actually not about what you give up as much as what you need to get in. Oh, right? yes. Okay. So when you ever hear about people talking about metabolism, mm -hmm. right? So metabolism is really how quickly your body can do what you ask it to. So if you're working out, I heard you had a good workout today, and you're trying to burn those calories, right? Well, if you're malnourished, it's not going to work. And those, those fat cells are going to stay stuck rather than coming off. Oh. So what you need to create that fast metabolism to burn the fat, build muscle, and metabolisms are also what let you heal, right? That's why I'm lupus for 17 years Damn. because I'm nourished and a nourished body can burn fat, build muscle, and heal, right? So, yeah. and it can protect you from colds and flus, which right now we got triple threat flus going on. Oh yeah. So nourishment is everything. So for most people, they don't realize by adding nutrients in, they will start losing more fat even without getting rid of the stuff that they should not be eating. Now, you'll lose more if you get rid of the crap. I mean, yeah, because like, as you said during the last show, like even having, you know, the, the smoothie, it's preventing me from eating, you know, as much bad stuff. Even if I right. do a little bit less, that's even better because I'm adding the good things that I need. Right, it's right? crowding it out. Crowding it out. But what I learned, which is so cool, because when I first started trying to change my diet, it was really, I didn't know it would get rid of lupus. I just wanted to get rid of some belly fat, mm -hmm. some love handles, okay? Mm -hmm. And so yeah, I thought that, that calories was a thing because in med school, that's all they taught us, right? You have to burn what you put in. And so if I ate a donut, 3 a.m. nurse's station, they always had all the, it was a gauntlet, mm -hmm. cookies and donuts, and I have to get pastries, through them. Pastries, pastries, pastries. at 3 a.m., it's very hard to say no, right? And so I thought if I have a donut, then I got to skip my veggies because I already ate too much calories. But a donut plus the smoothie? you will burn the donut off. Donut without the smoothie, you won't. So it's about adding what you're missing rather than just subtracting. Hold up, so. hold up, hold yeah. up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> All right, so let's say we have fries, because yes. here on the Nightcap, we love fries, right, Producer Hobby? Yeah. Um, if I throw in some veggies instead of just skipping the next meal because I'm like, oh, I'm gonna yes. cheat with this medium fries. If I just have some veggies, my salad, yes, I'm much better off. You were more likely to burn off those fries if you give your body the nutrients it needs. So the salad with the fries is better. My whole life has been a lie, doctor. My whole life. Tell me about it. I was told that only medicines can help fix people with chronic disease. And look at me right now, right? Ew, ew, so, ew. all right. We learn, so. we grow. So mm. this one I'm going to do right now is actually the one I had this morning. And it was so good. I said, I'm going to bring it. I skipped my green smoothie today because you were coming here to give me a smoothie. Oh, more is better. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I had a green smoothie today. <laughs> All right, we'll do it now. So uh, this one is a pineapple banana metabolism booster, right? Okay. And so what we're gonna do is, again, the fruit is really a way to make the greens taste better. Taste better. So yeah. I'm gonna load it up, but you won't be scared this time because you remember. I remember. No, it's I, not so I, bad. I'd be loading it up. Oh uh, yeah. I make everyone watch the nightcap with you to show that, like, listen, Ooh. you just pack the yeah. greens in. Yeah, you know, like, you don't leave it like this. No, You're see, cheating yourself if you this. Like looks this. like it's full, right? And then, mm. no, then no, it in. yes, mm -hmm. yes, you got no, it. No, I'm no, so no. proud I, of I, you. I'm so serious. And for this one, we're going to use the flax seeds for the omega-3. It's going to give it kind of a nutty taste. Okay. And I will say that I've only been using chia seeds. Okay. Should I should I be switching to a flax seed? Chia seeds are, are great too. They both are great sources of omega-3s. Um, flax seeds also have some phytoestrogen in it, which is really nice. It helps us uh, resist things like breast cancer. So mm. phytoestrogens are nice as well. But both of these will work for your metabolism. That runs in my family, and, so I may need to switch. Yeah, so that's a good thing. Uh, also, flax seeds make it a little more nutty tasting, and chia seeds will make it thicker, and we know how you like them thick. So, you know, uh, either <laughs> that's way, right, baby. that works for you. So we put the chia seeds in there, and then we're going to add the water. Again, you're going to get your hydration. So one of the biggest reasons people have struggles with losing weight, even when they're eating healthy, is they're dehydrated. Mm -hmm. And 
When you're dehydrated and you don't have enough fiber, you're more likely to be constipated and nobody wants you in a bad mood because you can't go to the bathroom. So you get in this hydration, you're gonna have super poops. Super poops. Super poops, super moods. <laughs> I'm sorry, I gotta shout out, you know, my co-pilot Ernie, because every time we talk about the back door poop, he's, he cringes inside. What? I'm sorry, y'all. There is nothing, oops, there's nothing that puts you in a good mood like a great bowel movement. And we just, you know, it's just I a mean, universal truth. Can, so, can y'all argue with that? Probably. I had a gentleman tell me that my smoothie saved his marriage. He thought his wife was just grumpy from menopause. It was, she was just constipated. So he said, now she's constantly in a great mood and it's all because of our smoothies. We saved the marriage. She's gotten the out. Yes, you gotta get it out. You gotta get it out. All right, so this will help you with all this fiber and hydration. You're gonna have some good bowel movements. I call them glorious. All right, let's put the I mean, is it okay in. without a banana. If I yeah, just well, the banana just is for flavor. Sometimes people will message me and go, well, what if I don't like bananas? What do I do? I'm like, just don't eat bananas. So yeah, the fruit is really just the flavor, the spoonful of sugar to make the medicine go down. That's it. Can you replace it with any other fruit? Can you replace it with a raspberry, a strawberry, a blueberry? Yeah. Although I find berries just aren't flavorful enough. Mm. And when they're frozen, they tend to be kind of sour. Mm -hmm. So I like a bit sweeter fruits for smoothies. Gotcha. But you know, whatever makes you happy. So there are people who go, but I love berries. Great, eat berries. So yeah, yeah I don't it doesn't matter as long as this goes in. The green stuff's what matters here. And yes, the, the greens, the water, and the mega three. All right, let's see if I can do this without exploding it on us. All right, well, let's try. So, now this is a Vitamix, which is a professional blender. Mm -hmm. You can get a smoothie in about thirty seconds. If you don't have one like this, you might have to blend longer. Keep adding ice, because if it cooks, it's nasty, and you won't get all the nutrition, so. All right. It cooks, that's not nasty. It does. Wouldn't be good. No, yeah, it's pretty nasty. I once had to cook one by accident when I lived in LA and left it in my car, and I came back in and just picked it up to drink it. Mm. Mm. Oh, no. <laughs> No, a hot good. salad? Absolutely not. Yeah, all right, let's see if I can do this without big mess. Oh, I'm not known for my coordination. See, look at that. It's a mess. All right, I'm gonna move all right. this out. Thank you. you don't have to move. Oh, oh, yeah, that's beautiful. Isn't that nice? The color is nice, so you don't have to be afraid of it. And this is really refreshing. The pineapple makes it really, really refreshing. And, you know, I know you're dry for January, so it's the closest we can get to, like, your colada. You know, yeah, I put yeah, it in a nice glass. A and, and look, look how thick it is. Thick enough to keep the straws erect, baby. Right. Yes. Actually, we're going to try this after the break. Stick around so you can see the taste taste. Welcome back to the Nightcap. We've been talking about working out, and obviously the nutrition is very important. So Dr. Goldner here, she just made this very important smoothie for metabolism, right? That's right. All right, I haven't tried it, so All cheers right. to you, boo. Here goes something. Yep. Yep, I love it. I love Good. it. I love it. It's great. It's great. Right? Pineapple is always my favorite to to put in. If I don't have pineapple in, I, I'm I'm not as happy with the smoothie. I always drink it, but. Mm -mm. But but less less enthused. Yeah, less it's good. Enthused. Pineapple's good, and you can get it bulk in the freezer section. Um, I don't cut pineapples. I, I've never been able to, but I buy them frozen and prepackaged. You just throw them in. Easy peasy, and you don't have to use ice if you use it frozen. Is mm -hmm. what I learned from you, boo. Mm -hmm. Okay, so to recap, yep. Well, how does this work for metabolism? Why do I should I be drinking this even if I'm not going to the gym? Yes, absolutely. So again, remember, metabolism affects not only your ability to burn calories, but cellular communication, cellular repair immune health. Mm. So you're getting vitamins, you're getting minerals, you're getting antioxidants, you're getting omega-3s, you're getting hydration. This is stuff your body needs and most people have been malnourished their whole lives. So that's why we do what we call hypernourishment. We overdose over, in the over, nutrition over. to fill yourself up and whatever's left over, you're just going to say goodbye to it later. You're going to say goodbye to it later. The brown's going to the Super Bowl. <laughs> oh, it's green. It should be green. <laughs> oh, my kids thought the, the poop emoji was the wrong color. They're like, that's disgusting. Why is it brown? <laughs> we need your back, Dr. Gold. We need your back. And All right. We're running out of time, but I mean, listen, if you are really on this mission for the new year, new you, go to the gym or you can work out at home too. But also nutrition is super, super, super important. I mean, you heard it from the people at Journey Fit and you're hearing it from Dr. Golden right now. Come on, a smoothie? This is easy, baby. It ain't a salad. Easy. Mm -hmm. And it's good. No fork. And it's dry January. So come on. This is the way to nourish up. Cheers to y'all. I hope you enjoyed it and see you next time on the night. Cheers, Doc. Cheers. Mm-mm. I love this. I love this. This is literally part of my life now. <laughs>